Welcome back to Living East Tennessee. I'm Tala Shatara. Let's go ahead and send it out to our Alante Walker, who's out right now checking out a new art exhibit that just came to town. Hey, Alante. Hey, Tala. Yeah, art is in the air and historic Emory Place, a new art gallery just opened up the Pivot Point Fine Arts Gallery, and I am joined by co-owner Don Stoner. Don, Tell us a little bit about this location because it is historic. You guys have so much to offer here. Tell us why you decided to open this art gallery. All right, hey, thanks for coming out, Alante. Yeah, we opened it when we did because of this building, honestly. Mm. The history, we, we became enamored of the history of the building. It was a trunk company, the post office for a long time, 130 years old, but it looks beautiful. And so the building itself is a work of art and we had been looking to do something in the art business and so when the building opened up, we jumped at it. And we've brought in a pretty broad mix of local, regional, and national artists, a lot of different mediums, a lot of different styles, uh, a lot of different price points. We want to have art that speaks to everybody and fits in anybody's budget, whether you're buying a piece for your first apartment or whether you're a serious collector. We have artists and art here for you. And so we just trying to get people to come on down and check us out, check out the building, check out the space. We have over 200 pieces of art on display, which is quite a lot for most galleries, uh, but we have both floors that we're able to use. Uh, and again, seeing the building itself is, uh, is worth the visit. Now, Don, as you said, art speaks to people. Tell us a little bit about how art first spoke to you, why you first got involved in the arts. Well, uh, I was not exposed to art much as a kid, and uh, I happened to have a friend that was in the art business and exposed me to it in my 20s. I became involved in his business a little bit. Um, it was one of the funnest endeavors I'd been part of, and I've spent the last 25 years in the food business and recently retired, and this is, again, one of the funnest things I've been involved with. I love being around the artists. I love, I can't draw a stick figure personally, but uh, I love, how I have a lot of respect for the people that can create and uh, their stories and why they do what they do and every artist truly has their own story and their own each piece has its own story so to me that's what connects me to the art is hearing the stories of the artist understanding what drives them and motivates them that's all fascinating to me and so and the art speaks to me in that way. And you know what? That's something we have in common because I also cannot draw a stick figure. I almost failed art class in middle school. I have not taken an art class since, by the way. But I do appreciate all the artistry that goes into what people are doing and how they express themselves. Tell people how they can find more information about Pivot Point Gallery, where they can find you at, hours and whatnot. Well, you can go to our website, uh, pivotpointgallery.com. We're on Instagram, at pivotpoint.com. And literally, if you drive to Gay Street, everybody in Knoxville knows where Gay Street is. Follow it to it dead ends, and you'll right into our building. So we're just north of downtown uh, at the dead end of Gay Street. And we're, we're changing our hours but frequently, but we're here right now 11 to 4, uh, Wednesday through Friday, 11 to 2 Saturday. But we encourage appointments um, because this art is best experienced if you take your time and really wander around. So we welcome appointments and uh, just shoot us an email or a call. Don, thank you so much for having me here. And coming up in a little bit, actually after the break, we're going to introduce you to another local artist whose work is featured here at Pivot Point Gallery. You don't want to miss that. Stick around for more Living East, Tennessee.